what's down here? Ah, my eye tickles. Durr. It looks like it's the storage area. I think I smell dried fruits and meat through the cracks in the door, but the door's locked. Oh my, what's that? There's a thing in here, and I can't see until the door closing animation is finished. Thank you. What's that? It's an emergency lifeboat. I guess even on a ship as small as this one, it's always best to have a few lifeboats ready. Oh, I see. The door is locked. I wonder what's in there. Yeah, I'm still subscribed to Ed's World. It sucks to hear what happened. Um, Ed someone called Ed who was like famous online for animating he died of cancer recently great now I gotta move boxes all day oomph what is in this thing anyways without the z Is he going to fall asleep on this one as well? Yep. Reused animations. Well, he was carrying a heavy box, then he set it down and sort of leaned on it. Sigh. Yeah. I'm done, sir. Alright, now on to the next chore. Take the helm. What? Are you really letting me? I want to see how well you can sail. If you can't sail, then you'll be loading boxes the rest of the trip. There aren't any more boxes. Ah, oh, most of my duties revolved around raiding, so I hardly ever got to actually fly our old ship. <laughs> well, they're pretty old, but these gore gouges, gauges are in great shape. Grind. And the wheel is so light, it's really responsive too. This ship must make really tight turns. Huh, <laughs> for someone who's hardly ever been at the helm of a ship this size, you seem to know quite a bit, boy. He <laughs> he, I spent a lot of time on the bridge of the Albatross, so I picked up a lot. Good, now let's see if you can actually sail. Our destination is Sailor's Island, about 40 leagues northeast from here. So we've had Pirate Island, and Sailor's Island. God, wait a minute, you could at least tell me the name of the ship, and yours while you're at it. Hrumpf, the ship's called the Little Jack, and I'm Drachma. Alright, now stop fooling around, the sun's going to set soon. Not until we sleep at an inn. But then time doesn't change either. Aye aye, Captain Drack, my little Jack, full speed ahead. Don't tell the ship to do something. This inanimate object is in this. Drachma has joined your party. Drachma allowed you to use his blue moonstone. Oh, well, that came out of nowhere. Didn't know he had a moonstone. Ah! <sighs> and we're in exactly the same place where our ship was destroyed apparently a full day ago. So, he wasn't in a hurry, obviously. What's he? What, level 12? Frickin' five levels higher than us. It better not be one of those situations where you get an overpowered character and then he leaves. Because that always happens when you get a character many levels higher than you. As we know from Fantasy Star. Yeah. 
Why, what a new world. Hmm, can I help you? The ship here is a free medical vessel. Are you here for treatment? Are you sick or something? No, we're fine. We're just passing through the area and saw your ship. We figured we'd come and see who you were. I a second your clothes, your weapons, your eye patch. You guys are air pirates. Wait, did that say pie arts? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'll check the footage later. But yeah, I think they spell. Well, I'll download it from the stream. But yeah, I think it was misspelled. I think it was the R and the A were around the wrong way. Pie arts. You were just in time. There's something that I want to ask you guys. Please come inside. Gigantic pigtails bigger than her head. I apologize for the abruptness, I know. Yeah, I should get rid of the ticker tape. Oops. It's just boing, 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 boing over and over. I don't know. I apologize for the abruptness, I know you don't really. Let me shrink the screen so you still see the game. I know you don't really need my services and have no need to stay, but I have a favour to ask of you. He has a spot on his head, like Pakistani people do. Not saying there's anything wrong with that, it's just a random observation. But first, let me introduce myself. The name's Doc. Oh! Well, that's what everyone calls me. I'm a free doctor. I don't have a country to call home. Studio... Um, but that lets me live the way I want to, so I fly the skies and heal sick and injured sailors wherever the winds take me. Oops. Take a check. What is it? Oh, wrong person. Blimey. Oh, and this is Maria. She's a... Maria? She's a little quiet and shy, but she's a good kid. Except she only says dots. Right, now what was it that you wanted to ask us to do? Heh, <laughs> direct and to the point. I like that. But here, take this lens. It's sort of related to what I want to ask you. And it's gone. Uh, yeah. Oh! That thing was called a moon lens. No! Or moons! It's a special lens made from moonstones. With it, you can see things you wouldn't normally be able to. No! A moon lens. Here, put the lens on and look where I'm pointing. But well, it just so happens he has a transparent eye patch that a lens can fit into. <clears throat> See things that you normally couldn't. Yes. Let's you see cows from the moon. Whoa, there's something. Yeah, Renault's pet. Some sort of creature right there. It's a moonfish. They're tricky little fellas to catch because they're well transparent. You can only see them using that lens. Bling, bling. Which brings me to the favour that I wanted to ask of you. I want you to find as many of these moonfish as you can and bring them back to me. They tend to nest in populated areas for whatever reason. So check towns and dungeons. What? Dungeons are populated? I guess with monsters. But they try to keep out of most people's ways, so look in hard to reach areas like behind buildings, under bridges, and rooftops. Ooh! Oh, one more thing. 
Whenever you're near a moonfish, the moon lens I gave you will react and make a sound. So pay attention. Why does a lens make a sound? Does it have speakers? No. Okay, so I use this lens to see where the little, the little guy is. How in the six moons am I supposed to catch them? By the nine moons. That's a better idea than me being quiet. That's... it's pretty... yeah. It's pretty easy actually. Here, let me put the moon lens into your goggles. It's not goggles, it's a one. Yeah. I could set one up. When I'm done, you can use it when you go into first person point of view. Y button. What? Once you find a moon fi oh! Once you find a moonfish, a target will appear. Line it up with the moonfish. A giant penis just appeared on the screen. And when you've got the moonfish in your sights, you press an A button. Well, it's just a random round thing at the bottom of the screen. It doesn't look like one, really. Ah! Shot out some kind of jelly blob. Actually looked like a Yoshi tongue. They, and here you go, the lens was a perfect fit. Well, sounds easy enough, right? Random chicken with an egg on its head. An eggshell. Actually, the reason for all this is a bit strange. A little bird got lost and found its way to my ship. I decided to take care of it for now, but I just don't get what this bird's problem is. He refuses to eat anything other than moonfish. But for whatever reason, moon! What, for whatever reason, Maria seems to have been really attached. Maria seems to have really grown attached to the critter. So I do what I can to keep it happy. No, oh, the chicken thing that Maria is holding. It's sort of my responsibility to take care of Maria. Anything she wants, I provide. Of course, there's only so much I can do. But I can't leave my ship. Can't leave Maria here all alone. That's why I'm asking you for this favour. Of course, I will compensate you adequately. I hate that word. That's quite good, actually. Bring me lots of fish. Yes, adequate. I don't know yet. Uh bring me lots of fish and I'll give you items in return. So please, if you find any moo fish, bring them to me! I will be eternally grateful. Okay. Yes. Right, I'm gonna set up the shortcut now. I guess. Yes. Add unassigned mute self shortcut <laughs> number pad enter <laughs> there should be moo fish near or on sailors island I'm sure if you look hard enough you can find them be sure to check on top of roofs and behind buildings check everywhere using your first person point of view good luck Aren't people always using first person point view? Not another town. I want to battle. Wow, so this is Sailor's Island. I've never been here before, but I can really tell that this place is lots of fun. Yup, I think I'm gonna like it here. Good, after I restock my supplies here, I'm leaving again. You two can stay here. Huh? Huh? Hey, wait a second. You have no ship. Well, we have no ship. Are you planning on just... Blah, blah, blah. Are you planning to just strand us here? I've got to find Ragnarm, and in the meantime, I have to find a cannon that's powerful enough to destroy him. 
I have no time to waste with you kids. You two can resolve your own problems. Whoosh. Look at the speed of him. This is just great. He's not listening to anything we're saying. Well, he obviously is, because he replied to them. I wonder if any... I wonder if there's anything that will make the old man change his mind. Maybe we can dig up some information. Let's go around town and see what we can find. Do, 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 do. Yeah, he is kind of like Barrett. Mainly because he's got that mechanical arm. That. Exactly. <laughs> what? You're the one who decided to play the game. Hello, travellers. I'm a merchant from the country of Nasra. What? A land that lies east of here. This area is known as Mid-Ocean, and if you sail to the north, you'll reach Valua. Because this island is situated halfway between Nasra and Valua, it's become the perfect spot for traders to exchange information. <laughs> Perhaps you should talk with people around town as well. You never know what sort of information you might come across. Useless information. Oh my god, it's an emo in an alleyway with his arms crossed and his hair over his face. Called Lawrence. I've got no use for you if you don't have any money. Do not bother me. Too late. Fag. Oh. Hey, it's a map of Sailor's Island. Well, I suppose it's an arbor town. So they've got. Ah. So they've. Oh, what have I done? So they get a lot of visitors, it makes sense to have a map. Chest! Old maps unidentified. Hmm, maybe these belong to the Sailor's Guild. Down the box won't open, oh well. Repair kit. What could they possibly be for? Repairing shit? Person. Hmm, what to do, what to do? It's Santa Claus. <clears throat> this is the Sailor's Guild arm wiggle. What uh, oh, a rubbish animation he's got. You can get information about ships and general sailing tips here. We also purchase information on discoveries made throughout the world. So, if you've made any discoveries, just let us know. We'll pay you handsomely for the information. Don't forget to check out the wanted list to see who else is causing trouble around these parts. I will sell discovery info. 120? Piece of... You found what? You must tell me where you found it. I must let the whole world know. Baltor the Black Bearded. The Spickle Pirate who will attack anything. He's known for attacking towns and ships throughout the mid ocean area. He's known for a lack of mercy. His favourite tactic is to weaken his enemy using the Black Beard. What? His ship. Oh, before boarding to loot, beware the power of his ship's cannons. Boy, I'll take it. Okay, whatever. An ancient guidepost. There's a small island north of Sailor's Island in mid ocean, you can't miss it. Of course you can, it's a small island. Easy to miss. In every port of any size, you will always find a branch office of the Sailor's Guild. I suggest you pay a visit. Back to my not bad animationing. All about shipbuilding. Oh, blah, blah. You, do you say anything now? No. Hey, that's my private stuff in there. Don't be going through that. Well, I know where a moo fish is. Is it here? I think it's up here. It's like a ladder. I don't bloody know, actually. I th 
thought I knew. Hmm, this must be where they store stuff. It doesn't look like the sun reaches in here, so it's cool and dark. Ladder. There's nothing up here. What's the point? I was thinking of another town when I said I know where Moonfish is, so never mind. Because I don't. But there is one somewhere. Because I heard the bugger. Ah. You're right there, person. It's so good to be on solid ground, oh lovely ground, oh sweet solid ground. It feels so good just to be able to roll around like this. Ah, nothing beats being on solid ground. No more rolling motion. You just said it feels so good to be rolling around. I'd call that a rolling motion. No more tilting, it's so beautiful. Sacrum crystal is one gross. Green moonstones three dozen. Now nah, I shouldn't steal from civilians. I thought that was a door. It is a door. Weridos. This game is full of weridos. You're a sailor? Hmm, for some reason you don't look like one. Well, I suppose either way, you're here to shop. Want to buy something? Certainly bloody do. Except you've got the same stuff that my home did. So fudge it. Thank you for stopping by. I'll be looking forward to your next visit. <laughs> okay. The water here is pretty clean. This is probably the town's main source of water. Yes, I can. We waited long enough this time. Ow! The fudge have I done? Ow! Oh. Mm -hmm. Where is it? There it is. So how do I get to our view? Oh, I'm gonna go up there. I am known as the Mystery Merchant. I travel the world selling exotic wares. I have items that you may never see anywhere else. Come take a look for yourselves. Oh, well, I'm not getting that item with that name. Oh, you're watching now. in a box. Oh. Yeah, so they don't use our MP. Leave me alone. Mustache. Hello there, traveller. You are looking for a place to rest your weary bones? You have come to the right place. The rooms are 60... <laughs> no, I wouldn't like a room. Oh! They didn't go down when I said down, oh well. So you'd like to stay the night? I have a room already prepared. Please make yourself comfortable and enjoy your stay. This game does feel like Zelda to me sometimes as well. Lots of strange characters. Uh, yeah. Uh, may the moons guide you in your journeys. No! I've had enough moons. 
I've had enough going on about having enough moons. Right, let's get a fish. How do I make the target appear? Oh. Whoop, look. The moonfish was caught. What the hell is with her hair? They say a lot of black pirates have been seen in the area lately. But pirates are extremely evil outlaws who steal gold and kidnap women. You better watch out, okay? I'm not a woman. Oh. Hmm. If we can just go in any room anyway. There's something in it. Oh, it gets a dirty sock. I'll just pretend I didn't see anything. Could take that sock. <coughs> Why is there a chest in a cabin? I mean, an in room. With 200 gold. To make sure that you can pay to stay. <laughs> I don't want to talk anymore already. Hmm. What? What? Some. No, I don't. No, it's not. Right. I'm Pinta and I travel the skies looking for all sorts of equipment. I live my life searching for exotic and rare things. My dream is to collect all of the rare items in the world, every last one of them. He's a completionist. Wow, all the items in the world. You've got big dreams, such a little fellow. My dream is to sail all around the world someday. I know, just how you feel. Oh, they both have really big goals. I think we'll get along just fine. You're a dreamer like myself. Yep, we both got big dreams, and now we just got to concentrate on making our dreams come true, right? Of course, well, you take care. Don't be a stranger if you're ever in town again. Mm. Scary man. Oh, come, this is a weapon and armor shop. Oh, yeah, I knew we were gonna get better weapons. So it was a waste of monies. Fish. 